In this video, I'll show you how to convert any MP3 to a WAV file that you can play with the WAV trigger using a free open source audio editor called Audacity. If you don't have it already, go to audacity.sourceforge.net and download and install the latest version. Once you have Audacity up and running, go to File, Import, Audio and open the MP3 file you wish to use. Now the one I opened here happens to be a 16 kilohertz mono audio file and we need it to be stereo 44.1 kilohertz in order to use it with the wave trigger. First, select the entire sound file by clicking on the waveform and typing control A. Then duplicate the mono track by typing control D. Open the drop down menu on the first track and select make stereo track. To change the sample rate, just change the project rate in the lower left-hand corner. Make sure it reads 44,100. Now, all we need to do is export the stereo track as a 16-bit WAV file. Go to File, Export, and make sure the Save As Type box reads WAV Microsoft Signed 16-bit. Audacity will automatically give the exported file the .WAV extension, so you won't overwrite your original MP3 file. That's it. All that remains is to add the appropriate three-digit track number to the beginning of the file, and you can play the sound on the wave trigger. 